the reason that aging is the number one risk factor for chronic illness, as our bodies get lazy and they don't get the same challenges over time and our life and our challenges get reduced and our diet gets more simple and our activity levels decrease and the stance that we take to protect our health reduces over time, it just makes us more vulnerable to disease as our years continue to progress. What we need to do is we need to create strategies of purposeful and controlled cellular adversity, because that's what leads to promoting of health over time. So somebody could be five years older, 10 years older, and actually look back and say, wow, you know, I'm 10 years older, yet healthier and feel better and more vibrant than I was 10 years ago. There's virtually no one on planet earth right now that is as healthy as they could be that couldn't use some sort of improvement. And so if we can change the paradigm and look at it through that lens, I think we can start to help people understand what the goals are and why we are recommending what services and therapies we're offering. Again, not to cure or treat disease, but to create that cellular challenge, that cellular adversity that's going to lead to improved health and therefore improved quality of life over time.